So, you know, I've always lived with a, a somewhat conflicted relationship uh, with technology, especially with, uh, with this camera here. Now, I think at times it's, it's sort of functioned as uh, a third eye, giving me an opportunity to reflect on a level that uh, perhaps I don't always get the opportunity to because this provides uh, a space within which I can speak to an audience which is usually quite abstract. I mean, sometimes I'm responding to a specific person, but there's a sense in which uh, I'm talking to a universal person when I make videos. And so this medium, uh, for me, has been very powerful in that sense. Now. The reason I'm making this video is to direct your attention to um, my friend Benton Rooks, uh, or at least to direct your attention to not only him but to this this movement that uh, that he has sparked and uh, it's quickly catching fire. Um, it's called the Single Eye Movement, and what we're trying to do is resurrect the mythopoeic power of the imagination and uh, the transformative spiritual potential of consciousness. Uh, and I think the paths have already been blazed for us. There are traditions wisdom traditions from all corners of the world that uh, I think need to be resurrected now to help us through this this difficult uh, crisis that we're facing as a, as a planet. Um, I'm thrilled to see that the single eye movement has now uh, interwoven in many ways and, and that these branches continue to grow out into uh, the cyber community, the internet media community. And as I said at the beginning of this video, I'm conflicted about technology, but I recognize the power of media, especially media that allows people to communicate face to face, uh, virtually, obviously, but you know, the human face is a powerful medium in itself. And when you are able to uh, make it telepresent, then uh, it, it reaches far wider <clears throat> than it otherwise would and it sort of weaves the world, the world's population together into an ever tighter net. And you know, I think what we're really after here is some sort of uh, a planetary uh, soul. It doesn't mean that uh, diversity will be wiped out. I think part of what's beautiful about the human being is our diversity. Uh, and so this isn't, um, you know, the call for some sort of a planetary wisdom culture isn't uh, meant to be a homogenizing of all the various uh, unique, wonderful differences that have manifested themselves <clears throat> uh, across this planet, but I do think we need to recognize some uh, common sense, some something, uh, some sort of solidarity as human beings, and I think that there is um, only one way to recognize this, and that is by seeing the human being as 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 threefold, really, not just a physical body not just a soul or a psyche, but a spirit as well. And all three of these are co-present, which is to say that, uh, at least as I see it, one of the most important traditions to be resurrected 
or esoteric truths to be made publicly acknowledgeable, publicly intelligible, is that eternity has entered time, that the transcendent has become imminent, that heaven, if it is to exist, is only going to exist here and now on earth through our own uh, effort of will, which is also to say uh, our own uh, imaginative creativity. Um, we've got to change the world from the inside out, I think. This, this crisis, this planetary crisis, does have ecological symptoms and um, sociological symptoms, but it seems that uh, at its core it's a crisis of consciousness, that the human individual is struggling to recognize some greater presence, some greater identity than its own egoic shell. It's trying to cast off that husk and embrace something larger. But of course, we've all got to be in this together. And I am all but convinced that YouTube will play a very important role. Not YouTube, but um, video media. Uh, you know, television has already changed the world, but I think now that it has become more interactive, that there's a whole new potential uh, being unleashed in terms of the personalizing power of the medium.